Hey everybody, um, I, I was asked that today in um, in a, an online group how I was able to make this um, overlay for my Zoom calls, for my interviews, for the Zoom calls that I've done for my podcast, and I thought I would just do a real quick run through about how I made this. Um, I did it all in Canva where I do everything pretty much. Um, and what I started with was this is the um, the front end card for the the podcast um, that I use at the beginning of the video. And usually, what happens is that I'll put the title of the the video and the image of the guest here. Um, but what I've done is I've taken that front card and I'm just going to use that uh, as my jumping off point. But first of all, I'm going to make a copy of it. So in this case, I'm going to make a copy. And I will call it, let's see, I'm going to call it the um, overlay. And I'm going to get rid of this copy out at the beginning of it. So this is the podcast overlay. Now, the thing that I would encourage you to do so that you can make sure that you get your uh, spaces in the right place is to... Um, upload um, a copy of um, the Zoom, um, like a Zoom call. And what I'm going to do is I'll just put it on uh, the top of the uh, image that I'm using. And what you'll be able to see when I do this is how, how it's going to lay out now, just so that you can see what's behind it, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit transparent. So if I make that transparent, you're, you're able to see then everything that's behind what I'm doing there. Now, the way that I made my um, uh, rectangles, uh, I went to elements here and chose lines and shapes. I picked out a rectangle shape, moved it over here. Now, I don't want it to go all the way to the edge. I want to have a little bit of a, a space in between I wonder what happened to my... my Zoom thing. Now I'll go ahead and copy and paste that. And that seems to be about lined up. Now I've got to get my uh, Zoom upload back up there. I'm not sure where it went, but I'll go ahead and put it back up there so that I can make sure that it is where we want it to be. And so I'll position it back so that we can, so we can see where the rectangles lay out. Now you'll notice that uh, my rectangles aren't lined up exactly with the zoom video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them up just a little bit so that they're even with the top of the video. And um, what I'll do is align those here. And then I've also need to make sure that I am not, um, that I'm not overlapping on the bottom. I don't want any black on the bottom. So I'm gonna move my bottoms up so that they line up just like that. Now, if I move, the if I get rid of that zoom screen now I'm going to go ahead and just color these and make them white because that'll make it easier when I open them in my photo editing thing um, there's not a way that I can find in zoom to um, to get rid of the um, uh, to get rid of the space, like I can't cut it out like I can in Photoshop or in Photo Paint, which is on, is the one that I'm going to use. But you can notice here that on my on my screen now, I've got room at the bottom so that I can put names and websites and stuff like that. But up here at the top, I've got room for my own brand. I've got room for a call to action and an offer, and that gets shown throughout the whole podcast video. So that's kind of a benefit for me at this point. It's not just blank space that's up there. It's, you know, space that can be used for offers and for calls to action and for 
informing people however you want to. So now all I need to do is I just need to download this onto my computer. I'm not going to do a transparent background because it's not going to translate the way that I want it to. So I'm just going to go ahead and download it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just close out of uh, my browser here. And I want to open it with Corel Photo Paint. I'm not a huge Photoshop fan. I found it a little bit hard to learn. Photo Paint, a little less hard to learn. Um, but it's it makes it easy to, to cut things out. All right, now I have... Um, I have this open in Corel Photo Paint. Now all I have to do is crop these two rectangle areas out. And the way that I like to do that is uh, with the magic select tool, magic wand mask. And so I just cl click that. And then I am, once it's selected, I delete it and it's done. Makes it very easy. And then all I have to do is save it and I have to save flattened um, so that it saves it as one image but this is what it's going to look like in the finished product and that's all there is to it I have just now created an overlay that can go over my uh, zoom call videos so that it looks like uh, it looks you know somewhat more interesting somewhat professional and again it just gives you a little bit more screen room that you can use to um, you know, to put in offers, messages, calls to action, whatever it is that you want to do with that extra space. And it leaves the bottom open for lower thirds and other things like that. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the overlay that uh, we made in Canva and then uh, edited uh, the spaces out so that there would be transparency uh, for where the uh, cameras um, sh show through. Now, notice this is the Zoom call uh, recording with just nothing on it, and I've added, you know, names and a name a nameplate on here. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, open up the uh, overlay, and we're going to put it on top of the video, but underneath the um, underneath the uh, text and that is what it's going to look like I'm going to go ahead and stretch these out so that they're the full length of the um, of the video and so now wherever I put that the overlay is on top of the zoom video and it just gives it a really nice look um, again I really like the fact that I can have this information at the top of the page and I've got room at the bottom of the page to put my things like websites and names and like book titles and links etc etc uh, but it's just a kind of a uh, up in your game a little bit when it comes to making your video podcast uh, so listen, if you uh, have any questions about this at all, just let me know and I'm happy to answer them. Franklin at franklintaggart.com And if you um, want to reach out and let me know how, you, how you're how doing with all of this stuff, just drop me a line. Thanks very much.